Lou Reed for three years, and um, I produced three albums of Lou. The first album I produced of Lou's was called Rock and Roll Animal, which was a live album. Thank you. It was a terrific album. Steve Hunter and Dick Wagner were just the incredible musicians. Um, anyway, we, we did it. It was two shows at the Academy of Music, and uh, we took the tapes back to uh, to RCA, and uh, when you in those days, when you had an audience, you needed it in stereo. You had two stereo tracks for audience. These days, you can do it with digital delay. It's very easy. But in those days, it was very, very uh, just uh, very analog. Anyway, um, we took the tapes back to RCA and went through them, and we couldn't find one of the audience tracks. Um, I don't know, left, right. Anyway, we needed an audience track if we wanted a stereo audience. So my engineer, Gus um, Mazar up at, at RCA, uh, I said, what are we going to do? He says, well, let me go into the archives room and see if I can get uh, some audience applause. <laughs> so he goes into the archives room and comes up. He says, I got a concert that we can, we can throw in the applause. I said, what concert is it? A John Denver concert. <laughs> now, of course, playing a joke like this on Lou is like heaven for me. You're still in my heart. And that's what we used. Um, so until the day he died, Lou did not know that the applause from his biggest selling album, half of it was from a John Denver concert. <laughs> Unless he found out, and that killed him. <laughs> Which I wouldn't be surprised. Um, 